You snoring! You snoring! Good game! Go snooze on the couch. Ladies and gentle majors, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode with Man on Man, and today we've got a juicer for you, we've got Plunder Discard, this is a cute little deck here I made, um, it's usually just, obviously we were seeing a lot of the alchemy cards, we're seeing City Soccer Connoisseur, Gut Mourn, a lot of these discard cards that are specifically from alchemy, but they get a little bit of a bump here with Under City Plunder, I absolutely love this card, this is amazing. Target opponent discards a card, again, just one discard for two, which is standard. Then they may discard an additional card. If they do not, conjure a duplicate of a random card from their library into your hand. It perpetually gains, you may spend mana as though it were mana cost of any color. What in the world? This should cost three, I think. I, I don't really know how to fix this. I think this is broken. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think this is broken. Usually you get one discard for two mana, which would be like an acquisitions expert, dread fugue, duress, etc., etc. But this is just busted. You either get two discards for the price of two mana, or you get one discard and then you get a random card. That random card could be anything. That could be anything. I, I mean, I don't understand. This card is absolutely busted, and I'm going to be running it in, like, pretty much every black deck I have. Like, I'm not even joking you. It, it's just that good. Like, the upside you can get from this is just so busted. It's kind of like a Legion Angel. Like, I know it's kind of like a Silver Bullet type of card, but, like, if you're low on land, you could even make use of the land. Like, right? It's a, it's, it's just a, it's a card, right? A random card. So you can get a land, as far as I, I, I can understand here. But you're gonna be able to just get a free card. Like, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, okay, maybe I'm just keeping, I'm, I'm blabbering about this Undercity Plunder. But this is the key card I want to focus on here for the deck. All this other stuff we have already kind of seen before. But like, hey, it's still a very, very good deck. So I'll go ahead and give you the rundown. We got Blood on the Snow and Lulf. We are running snow-covered swamps here because it's just it's just really good as a control shell. And, you know, this card kind of is like Control-E. I mean, it is a form of control, I guess. So Blood on the Snow and Lulf is going to be really, really good. Invoke Despair. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. If you can't, draw two, or lose two life, draw a card. And then for an enchantment and Planeswalker, do the same thing. Really, really awesome. I'm running four. I think it's a... I don't know which one I like better, Lulf or Invoke Despair. Probably should cut it down to three and, and three I, I think i kind of got a little bit too crazy with the invoke despair um in one of my videos so okay, i'm using the shell from a, another video here so i think i'm actually like in the in the outro i'll probably change that let's go and just do it now screw it screw it let's just do it now three and three i think that feels a little bit better because this is not really an aggro deck i think invoke despair is a little bit better for aggro while wolf is a little bit better for a more like controlly type of deck like this so that's good we're running three city soccer kind of sores i should probably kick this up to four as well i think that's just the, kind of the better thing to do um i don't know what i would drop for it i guess we could probably even drop something else i think the city soccer connoisseur is an mvp so we'll go ahead and just make changes as we go here you know that's kind of what we do and i guess we'll get rid of the gut morn. the gut morn is pretty much dead late in games i've noticed that a lot early in the games if you've got a gut mourn you also do need something to give them so that is kind of a problem too if you don't have like a dread fugue or a duress or an acquisitions expert you, you have to give them one of your cards so i think we're gonna kick, kick down the gut mourn to two but other than that we're Exquis acquisitions expert go blank is wonderful because it exiles the graveyard as well graveyard trespasser is wonderful march of wretched sorrow is a plus versus aggro duress and dread fugue so this is the deck also running agadim's awakening Let's go ahead and make our opponents take the plunder, the Undersea plunder. Hopefully it gets us some value here. Let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Outzen, how we doing here? Uh, how we doing? Uh, this is not the greatest hand. I hope... <sighs> this is yucky. I think we're off the mulligan this. Mmm, doesn't feel good, but we're gonna have to. I mean, we'll get rid of the blood of the snow. I guess all is kind of well, but yeah, that was just too slow of a hand. If we play something aggro with that thing, like, that was just gonna get mauled really quick, so... Okay, now we've got an actual hand here. My Undercity Plunder is going to be this card that I'm really, really interested in. This card, this card is going to be so good. I'm going to actually read this out loud. We're going to try another Hive of the Eye Tyrant. And this is going to be, we just discard a card, and then they made a discard an additional card. If they don't, conjure a duplicate of a random card from their library into your hand. This card is so insane. So we're going to make you take the Plunder, the Undercity Plunder. Target opponent is going to discard a card. Let's go. Pretty simple. Pretty simple, and if they don't discard another card, we just get a random card. Like that seems so busted for two. Is it? Is it just me? So they get rid of a vanishing verse. Okay, are they going to discard another card or no? They don't, and we just get a free Kami of Mourning. Like, 
Th this is just insane. Like, this would probably cost three, right? Or, and, like, am I just crazy? Am I just punch drunk? Okay, so we're going to get a free Kami of Morning. I mean, we don't have, like a, like, a ton of use for it. But, like, it doesn't really matter. We can still go for Go Blank. Uh, Graveyard Trespasser. No. No. Um... Target creature you control or in your graveyard. I mean, we, can we, we could just um, target itself, right? We could do that eventually, but... Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go for gold blank. No, 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 no. Oh, that's a... Mm. That is a gross misclick. I am using a silent mouse, so I'm not really used to... I'm, I mean, I'm, I know I'm being, like, the worst ever right now, blaming the mouse on the click, but it kind of was. Not really used to... Uh, I got some crumbs from eating some cookies on my desk, so... Kind of my own fault here, but... The, good, the cool thing here about the Kami is that we, we actually get it, so it's going to be able to come back at any time now. <laughs> so, you know, we'll go ahead and recover from that. Let's go ahead and fix up our hand here. Boom, boom. And we get a City Soccer Connoisseur. Let's go ahead and do that and then use the Go Blink next turn to kind of wither away their hand. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. City Soccer Connoisseur, get away. And we just get a free com or a Kami of Mourning, which is awesome, with our Undercity Plunder. Pretty freaking cool. So, Torment of Scarabs. Um, unless I sacrifice a non-land permanent. So if I get rid of this connoisseur, I get back the Kami of Mourning, right? Is that kind of what I'm getting at here? I um, mean, you know, I guess we'll just... Do I want to do this? Or do I, I want to just, like, um, decline lose three life? I think we probably just want to lose the three life, but maybe this... We're, we're going to go ahead and see. We're going to see the power of this. Let's see... Let's, let's just let's sacrifice our, our City Soccer Connoisseur, right? This will come back, right? It'll come back tapped, right? Okay, we're just we're just having fun. We're just we're just all about the fun. So this is gonna come back. And we want let's do our City Soccer Connoisseur. So now whenever we get a five drop to die, I'll get I'll get uh, this back, right? That's how this works? Okay. Be that as it may, let's go for the gold blank. I think that's the best way to do this, because yeah, yep, it's gonna be the best way. Let's go for the gold blank. Hopefully we can get into our Junji. We do we do have a copy of Junji in here, so the City, City Soccer kind of sort of can come back eventually. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off for maybe Graveyard Trespasser is kind of good. Mm, I don't know if it is though. City under City Plunder. I kind of want to get into a land source here, and I kind of want to burn this now. So, ah, well, we got a whole turn to think about it. Let's go ahead and just think about that. <laughs> so we're playing kind of awkwardly. So Restoration of a Ganjo. Yeah. So now we definitely want to get into the Invoke Despair. They get a Planes card, but I don't care about the Planes card that much. I think it's kind of rough here. We can go for a Graveyard Trespasser, Vanishing Verse. Okay. That's fine. We still have our City Soccer Connoisseur, so... Um, Blood Token. We're going to use this on the Undercity Plunder. At this point, they do not have a card to discard anyway. So hopefully we can get into a Land Source. Ooh, that's going to be untapped. So that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I guess we'll just take... We'll just decline here. Hopefully we can get into a land source. We don't. Oh, it's unfortunate. But we still get into a graveyard trespasser, and we're going to be able to gain some life here. Here's the problem. I'm trying to even remember. If we do, I mean, I think I put one or two Jinjis in here. This is kind of the um, the downside of making a, a deck every day. Um, I don't know. I guess we're going to go ahead and use graveyard trespasser. I think I think it's pretty important to get the life here. Um, do we, I'm trying to think of all of the five drops. I don't think we even have one. I'm, I might not even put up one in here. We're going to go ahead and just exile it. I want the, the life. I know it seems ridiculous to, to exile it after using the Kami on it, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I even remember to put a Jinji in here. This is my first match of the day with this deck, so... Okay, let's see if we can uh, make this work. <laughs> so, we go with Lisa, a Forgotten Archangel. Whenever it dies, return that... Whenever another non-token creature dies. So, that's fine. If we can get into Invoke Despair, which we can... This is gonna suck. I guess we'll just decline. Yeah, we'll just decline for now. We've still got some life to give up. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. We can go for Invoke Despair. It's gonna kill this. I would assume that they get rid of what... I don't know which one they're gonna get rid of, but either way, they'll have to get rid of something, and something's pretty cool. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. We'll be able to exile this as well. Which enchantment are they gonna give up? They, have, they get the pick. They get rid of the Mihook. That's actually interesting. Um, this Acquisitions Expert's not very good right now, but what is good is swinging in and exiling this Lisa, the Forgotten Archangel. Down to 15, up to 12, and I think I'm going to actually just keep this. Let's go ahead and fix up our hand. And uh, they give us a... Oh, I'm so sorry. I am boring you. Well, 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 well. 
I have not unleashed the rope yet. So whenever they do this, I kind of don't feel bad about taking my time because I, I just I'm not worried about it anymore. So let's go ahead and drop the abandoned mire. Do we want to use? No, let's go ahead and keep it. Let's just keep it. If we want to, we'll be able to use blood on the snow. And sanguine brushstroke. Yeah, we got at least we got rid of their meat hook massacre, so they they can't just keep popping us off anymore. Um, yeah, let's decline it. Let's decline it. I think we're st still probably okay. We can still use March of Wretched Sorrow. We can use blood on the snow. Um. Let me think here. The Acquisitions Expert's not very good right now, so I guess we could use March of Wretched Sorrow. We don't we actually don't even have to. We can just use this for four and just pop the ar uh, Architect. So just, yeah, just pop the Architect, whatever. We'll get four life here. I know the Blood Artist pops us, but ah, whatever. Not that big a deal. Agony's Awakening's actually not good right now. Not good right now. There's nothing really to reanimate, so I go ahead and swing in. And we'll get rid of... What do we want to get rid of? We have no creatures in here, do we? No. No, we don't. <sighs> we just get rid of the restoration. Sure, it's something. They might just take this, but we actually do have to be a little bit worried here. Down to 13. And... Don't really have the most going for us right now. So I guess we'll just... I don't have anything to reanimate. So we'll just, we'll just do this tapped. I kind of want to just get that out of the way. So now that we can uh, not worry about shocking ourselves in. Really good that we let the, the, the Mihook Massacre off. Because now they have another one. So now they have another one. <laughs> That's not good. How much life are we going to lose here? What, like four? Three? It's Torment of Scarabs. Okay. Um, I'm actually just going to discard the Acquisitions Expert. So let's go ahead and discard Acquisitions. Bang. Duress. That is not good. But we can make that for food for the Torment. Um, so not the end of the world here. We can actually use... The Abandoned Mire. We actually can't do that and get something worthwhile back. We can get the Graveyard Trespasser, and we've got enough creatures in it for it to eat. So I guess we'll just go ahead and pop this off as a sorcery. See if we can get something cool. We kind of don't, but the Graveyard Trespasser is still going to be the best option here. So let's go ahead and grab this. And then we have Duress for the Naughty Torment of Scarabs. Yeah, it's fine. It's going to go Knight as well. Because we didn't play anything, because channel is an ability. So now that we're going to get the Graveyard Glutton rather than the Graveyard Trespasser. We lose a life, but again, I'm banking on this Graveyard Trespasser to really do us in. So let's go ahead and discard a Duress. Bang! Another Blood on the Snow. I'm going to go straight for this Graveyard Trespasser. It's nighttime, baby. Oh, woo! Let's go. Graveyard Glutton. And we're going we're gonna to immediately take away this Blood Artist. And let's go ahead and get rid of a Gutmourn, because at this point, Gutmourn's not very good, even if we were to reanimate it somehow. Just, the Gutmourn's not very good here. So, ooh, we just take two life from them and take the two life. Yeah, whatever, you, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> two life there, and we gain two life. So, Kaya, ooh, 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 not good here. What you gonna do here? When you can walk through walls, anything. Okay, so you're gonna discard the card? They are gonna discard the card. Okay, it That's is what it is. Easy job. Huh, how do we want to play this out? Do we want to get rid of one of the Blood and the Snows? Blood and the Snow has a lot of upside, but I don't think we need to. I think we, we want to put them in top deck mode, and then we can just use, um... I think I'm actually going to do this. I have to, I want to be, I'm very wary of my life total right now. So, let's go ahead and discard a card. I know we're going to get rid of a Blood and the Snow, but we'll be able to activate one, get rid of the Kaya. Oh my gosh, we can go down to seven. Because we don't have a meaningful way to gain life, I think we're going to do it. Oh, it's not great. It's just not great. It's painful. It's painful, but we're going to have to do it. And we get a Lulth. We get a beautiful, beautiful Lulth. Hmm. I think I want to keep blood... Hmm. I want to keep blood on the snow so that we can maybe get into a graveyard trespasser with one more snow source. We don't have a snow source, so let's just drop the Lulth instead. Kind of puts us in a, in a weird spot, but... Hello, Lulth. what I demand. Faithful Disciple. Okay, that's not the end of the world. They're gonna be use Kaya on this. That sucks. Thing feels weird, I know. It does suck. It does suck. But okay, we can do this. We can sacrifice a non-land permanent. We can get rid of one of the spider tokens. And s no, we can't. We can't do that if we want to kill him. So let's go ahead and sacrifice a no. No. Oh man. We'll just decline. We'll take the damage. We get a wretch of March and Sorrow. That is a godsend. Thank goodness. I'm actually feeling pretty comfortable here. We'll go ahead and draw a card, lose a life. Dude, I do not care anymore. Run. But we will catch you. We will catch you. <laughs> we will catch you. So let's go ahead. 
Do we want to kill this Kaya? At this point, yeah, we're just going to have to kill a Kaya. So, yeah, we'll kill a Kaya. And they're going to be able to get um, a faithful disciple back. So, here's what I'm going to do. This is kind of weird. Well, I guess I got in over my head. We're going to use March of Wretched Sorrow. They're going to what, draft a Spellbook card. But here's the thing. If we use Dreadfugue, we can use Dreadfugue to get rid of it. But they're going to get another one back. Let's let's just end the turn here. Let's just end the turn. The Dreadfugue is also Torment of Scarab food. And we can also go for Hive of the Eye Tyrant if that's what they want to do. Don't really want to give up my Lulf, though. But we're, I'm also very nervous about our life total. We can also just shoot this up to the high heavens and then just get a bunch of life back. So Kami of Mourning. Target creature you control or in the graveyard. This goes back into the hand, right? Into the hand. So they, do they have anything... Let's go ahead and pop the Wretched of the Marched, Wretched Sorrow. And let's just shoot this up to the high heavens. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. We can do this for five. And no. Shoot it onto the Faithful Disciple. Gain five life. Yeah, I know it'll come back and they get a 1-1. One, one, but this way, our Lulf is safe. We gain some life. Mm, it's okay. I mean, they're going to be able to replay it as well. But now they, they don't they don't they can just use the Kami of Morning on itself. I think that's better than the, the Faithful Disciple. We'll get it back. Okay. How do we want to play this? Up to 10 life, so that's nice. We can use this and we can discard a card. We can discard with the Dread Fugue. But they actually do have a card now, so that's actually pretty worth noting. We could blood on the snow. But get an acquisitions expert back. I, I'm waiting on that next that next snow swamp. We gotta get the snow swamp, so I guess we will we'll decline. No. We'll discard a card. We'll, we're gonna discard it. It mm, doesn't feel great. There's our snow covered swamp. That is going to be very good. I'm gonna drop it. I know that leaves us a little bit not great with the scarabs, but um, still pretty good. Still pretty good. I'm gonna swing in here because I'm blowing up the board with blood on the snow anyway. So we're going to blow up the... Ooh, they actually take it. Okay, so that's interesting. Well, let's go for Blood on the Snow. And we're going to be at the Graveyard Trespasser. The Graveyard Trespasser is what I really want to get. So destroy all creatures. Now that we have an extra blood or a snow source, we're going to get back our beloved Graveyard Trespasser. And that is what I want to do. And we can do this. Okay, but the way this puts on the stack, what happens here? They get this back, right? Or no, they don't. So, no, they don't. So we'll just get rid of the the Kami of the, of the of morning. Yeah. Pretty simple. They give us another snooze. I'm sorry I'm snoring you to death. <laughs> so they are going to be able to draft a card from the, the spell book here. But we still do get a Graveyard Trespasser. And Lolf. Hmm. I think I'm going to do this because that is still overall better for the Torment of Scarabs. We're going to be able to draw a card. Yeah. We lose a life, but it's still better to discard this than to take three. So, we're, we're netting out here. Anointed procession, if an effect would it create more and more tokens, it creates twice a minute. Okay, so that's not a big deal. I am going to discard this card. So, we're at a net positive with this. This is cool. Now we get an invoke despair. Um, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm going to swing in with, with the graveyard trespasser. And we're going to get rid of faithful disciple to just ping them for that extra life source here. Down to eight. Down to seven, and Invoke Despair is just not going to be enough, which is unfortunate. But we're going to be able to. Oh man, this, that they they did not want to see that. Which enchantment are you going to get rid of? I don't even think I'm packing the uh, the Z's. We're going to go and give them like, the cool Tamio thing. Oh, look at that! Look at the cool Tamio emote. That is bad. That is bad to the bone. That is that is so badass. All right, we're going to go and draw one more card. I don't think they can do seven damage, so... My children will take care of you, Atsuzen. Atsuzen. Oh, you snoring! You snoring! Good game! Go snooze on the couch. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more Magic Deck videos every single day. Ilishnar, how we doing here? This is a pretty good hand. We'll go ahead and keep that. Yeah, we also got... The March of Wretched Sorrow is just so, so good. The, I think the life gain really puts it over the top, so... Let's go overgrown farmland, okay. Well, we'll drop this. I'll go put you for now. I guess we'll uh, assume Agadim's Awakening is going to be used for reanimation purposes. 
if we get enough land. It's always weird with these cards. Like, I, like when you fix your hand, I always like, should I put this over here? Should I put this over here? So, Generous Visitor. Okay, well, I'm not going to use Ruch March of Wretched Sorrow just yet. That doesn't seem good. So, we'll go ahead and pass the turn. Yeah, that's um, it's going to be what we're going to do. We can use March of Wretched Sorrow. Mm, we might we might consider doing that. But we'll see if they drop the Jukai Naturalist. They drop the Jukai Naturalist. Probably not going to do that. Probably save the March of Wretched Sorrow for that. So let's see what they got going in here. If they commit to like an actual rune, Runeforge Champion. Okay. Okay. Um, it's not great, but at least we can ki we can kill this generous visitor. Is that what we want to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think I think we might just want to let this pass. We could go for a graveyard trespasser, but I think that's a little short-sighted. Oh, we gotta make a decision. Do we want to go for March of Rich Sorrow, kill this, and then Graveyard Trespass it, or do we want to wait and use it on the on the Runeforge Champion? Let's go ahead and just take it. I think I'm gonna want to use it on the Runeforge Champion. So let's go ahead and take it, and we can use this and deal for three. But then we have to get rid of an Agadim's Awakening. I think that's kind of be the play. So let's go up to three. We'll get rid of the Agadim's Awakening. Target you, auto pay. I just want to kill this Runeforce Champion as soon as humanly possible. I think that's just too much of value. And then I also want to play down the Graveyard Trespasser. Mm, I, I mean, I'm, I think that's a pretty strong play. Um, I know it's a, also a pretty strong play for them to wait into using one of the runes and then instant speeding this in. Because then they don't get the rune and then it goes to the graveyard. But if they don't have another creature, and again, this is just kind of gambling. But if they don't have another creature, and they do, so... Okay. <laughs> they get another Runeforge Champion. Very sad. I think, what are they going to use? Are they going to use the speed one to just swing in and hurt my face? Okay, so they got Rune of Sustenance. And it's okay. Let's see. Let's see. What can we do here? They're going to obviously use it on, what, the Generous Visitor and kick it up to a 3-3? Or no. The Rune of Sustenance actually does not give it 1-1. One, one. It actually just gives it lifelink. It's the speed and the might that gives it 1-1. One, one. So they actually can't swing in here, so that's good. But they do draw a card. I don't I don't like when they draw cards. Please don't draw cards. Okie dokie here. Let's go ahead and fix this up. Bang, bang. And we can drop this. And we do get a City Stalker Connoisseur now, though. That's re really, really nice. So I'm going to drop the, the City Stalker Connoisseur. Hopefully we can get rid of, like, a Hall of Haunting or another Runeforge Champion. Something. The highest mana source card is going to go bye-bye. So we get rid of their highest mana source card. I love the City Stalker Connoisseur. Kind of busted, to be honest with you. Like, this is one of those cards that, like, just doesn't scream at you. Wasn't that great? Oh, they actually only have rune cards in their hand, so that's actually really, really cool. Do we want to swing with the Graveyard Trespasser? We don't really gain any life, which is unfortunate, so I think we kind of just want to hold still. Yeah, I guess we'll hold still. It's not great, but, you know, we're still sitting on a Blood on the Snow in another City Stalker kind of sewer. So, do they... Oh, man, Jukai Naturalist. Yeah, I hate to see it. So... Our play here is going to be going into Blood on the Snow as soon as we can because they're going to be able to just play these for free. We all know how this goes. We all know how these goes. Generous Visitor, yep. Yep, it's going to kick them up. Runeforge Champion. The question will be is how many runes do they have? I mean, they got at least another one. But they only have two more cards in their hand. And we do have a Death Touch. So do they want to... I mean, you better, you better do your worst here because I got 23 life. And Death Touch. So if you want to swing in, you're going to have to pay an extremely high price. An extremely high price. Davriel knows all about the high price and riches. And they actually don't swing, which is incredible. Which is absolutely incredible. Okay, here's the question. I'm going to go for Lolth rather than, than City Stalker. Because I kind of want to keep this if we go for Blood on the Snow. I want to be able to draw another card with Lolth after I make the two ones. So... Yeah, yeah, it's it's close, but I think this is probably the best option. It's close, though, because they can, they can trample over to kill the Lolth. We don't have another guaranteed, another snow-covered swamp, so I, I guess we'll do this. I kind of want to draw a card, though, because like, they can just trample over us. Darkness will swallow the light. I kind of want to just draw. I, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to draw, actually. Okay, we get another snow-covered swamp. 
and deadly. I kind of, I kind of like that move. We're still at 22 life. We had, we want to, we want to push into our deck a little bit more. I, I think that is actually the best move here. If they want to get into the lull, they're going to have to take a casualty because our city soccer connoisseur has death touch. Ooh, wait. Nasty little cards here. They actually just passed the turn. How crazy is that? Wow. Wow. And we can actually go for blood on the snow here as well. That is actually insane. So, holy Moses. We, we, they're, we just actually blocked off their board with like a silly death toucher. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Well, let's just, let's just swing in here. Let's at least just swing with the, uh, well, let's just swing with both. And we're going to blow up the board with blood on the snow. So... Yep, let's go and do that. Graveyard Glutton, we'll just get rid of the Rune of Speed for funsies, whatever. Whatever. Probably get blocked off here, but that's okay. We're gonna blow up this board with Blood on the Snow, and then I'm gonna get a City Soccer Connoisseur back. And then we'll also be able to use Lulth. They are gonna go bye-bye here. I've got a pretty good feeling. I got a feeling. Woo-hoo! So yeah, the Graveyard Glutton goes bye-bye, but that is okay. That is okay. Lulth's gonna go up. They do get the life link, which kind of sucks. I actually kind of forgot about that. Not My gonna lie. Cannot be denied. But Blood on the Stone is gonna pop the whole board here. Unless white, red, or green has a counter spell, um, everything's gonna go bye bye. So let's go ahead and get back our City Soccer Connoisseur. And we get a free discard action, along with Lulth going off again. Oh my. So three cards, they're gonna have to discard their highest mana source or mana valued card. Okie dokie. We will slay our enemies. We will slay our enemies. At this point, I guess we'll just create a minus threes. I kind of want to just keep drawing though, but we'll get some board presence. Why not? Why not? I think we can afford to do this. Subservience will be rewarded. Subservience will be rewarded. I am very subservient to you, Lolf. Very, very. Rune of Sustenance on the Lair of the Hydra. That's actually pretty cute. Uh, they do get to draw a card, which is probably the primary function. I don't know if they're going to go into the Lair of the Hydra. I wouldn't think so. Don't think that does them a whole lot of good, honestly. If they want to kick up Lair of the Hydra, they can make it, what, one, two? Are they actually, we can just kill them with the spiders, and then they're kind of just trapped in Lolf's web. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll just draw another card. That's fine. We get another City Soccer Connoisseur, Graveyard Trespasser. Oh my, oh my. I'm gonna drop another Study Soccer Connoisseur and we can go for a Graveyard Trespasser. Um, this is the deck, they, they're not gonna be running board wipes, so I think we just pretty much have them on lockdown here. City Soccer Connoisseur and they get rid of a Machiko's Reign of Truth. Okie dokie. Let's go for Graveyard Trespassers just to make things more annoying for them. Just to make life a little bit more hellish. We're gonna go for Graveyard Glutton. It's gonna be Graveyard Glutton now, but it's not going to be that for long. We'll get rid of their two most prized possessed cards. The Jukai Naturalist and the Rootforge Champion, just to add insult to injury. Then we're going to swing in. We're going to swing with a Death Toucher and Reach with Menace. If they want to make the Lair of the Hydra a creature, they're just going to be trading here, or they're not going to be able to block this. Down to 12, and I think this game's pretty much over. I think this game's pretty much over. We've got Nagadim's Awakening to reanimate some things if they kill up. Yeah, I don't see how they're getting out of this. Do your worst, Lair of the Hydra. Um, we actually have Lethal. If they tap out for Lair of the Hydra, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Good game. Wow. So we're back here at the hideout with the post-game wrap. And definitely just gotta say, this deck was really, really good. I, I think this, this card's literally insane. I don't know what else to say about it. I think they're a little bit bonkers for dropping this i mean this is this is um still early in the in the release of these alchemy cards but i i don't know i just can't see this card not being it's so splashable like you don't even have to be like a discard deck to run this like it, it's just literally that good i i just don't understand what they're doing um but be that as it may i'm gonna keep running this uh, under city plunder just gives you so much value for two mana absolutely nuts so this is the deck feel free to copy it tweak it do whatever you want um you can make it more aggro. There's a bunch of things you can do with it, but I kind of like the shell a lot. So, yeah. I mean, we also are running the sideboard here just because in case you steal something with the Gutmorn or the Undercity Plunder, you need this. Why not? It's free upside, so. Go ahead and leave me a like here. The like button looks just like that. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Tell me how ugly I am down below. 
Uh, do whatever you want because it really helps out the channel. Tell me how ugly I am. Just do, just do something because I'm really trying to grow this channel out. But I appreciate all of you. Man a man. Out. <laughs>